Come here. You would. How do I do it? What do I do? Hold it like this. Well, it's like, I don't know, it's early, but it's light outside, as y'all can see. My roommate's still not up yet. Nothing new. You know, Matt's usually out here working. We're going to go wake him up. Just so everybody knows, that is what I've got to work with here, right there. That's why I'm in second, man. See? Playing with the ear, because you take this stuff too serious, dude. <laughs> ain't too serious, man. We're just here I, to have fun. I'm going dude. to work, still sleeping. This is like a worker, sleeper. sleeper, worker, sleeper. I guess I'm like his little worker oh. bee or something. Off the work we go. We'll leave the minions to uh, keep preparing. I'm already getting sick, man. Now it's raining outside. All right, this is not how I wanted to start off. Day one of practice of the last tour event, guys. I apologize. And for all y'all that saw me laying in bed thinking that I'm <clears> half stepping, <throat> ain't doing it. So we're just trying to evaluate. We're evaluating the situation at the moment. Can't breathe. I don't need to get any any more sick. So we're about we're in the evaluation process. It's right a long now. day. Yeah, we fished till 9:30 tonight. It gets dark at 10 o'clock. Yeah. And it's five o'clock. So. That being said, we'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Why do you have your buff on? Because you could get. I just found out that the bright lights like that, 100 watt bulbs or more, could actually uh, <clears throat> give you skin cancer. What does that say on there? Catch one? <clears throat> catches? Catch co. Catch. Co huh? Catch co. Catch co. Like, yeah, like you, like you, ca like catch a cold, like like what you just did. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the sickness in the house. We're all gonna start wearing them around. Yeah, the I'm gonna wear this too to protect myself from your sickness. Oh, look at these. These are cool. These are cool. These are the most cool thing ever. Now, there's gobies in Lake Saint Clair. Live Target. They're known for making very live-looking stuff. Look at that, dude. Is that crazy? Is that real? Look at it. Tell you what else is cool. This big lump that's in my grits. Mm, fresh corn. Corn. You know what grits are? Yeah. <laughs> Number one day of practice. There it is. There it is. Little guy. Little guy. What you got, man? I got a little guy. A large mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got me a little guy. Right, man. Appreciate it, man. got man man what you got man what well, come you all the way got? to st Clair, dude and you're catching largemouth man i'm catching what biting i'm adapting to the situations that's pretty good there potna he's kind of gold it's looking. a gold bass that black bass they have gold bass he's half and half man he's yeah he's a mix My fish, man. Why you doing him a fish? 
Large mouth again. Big boy. Man, look at you. Look at that. That's the deal, man. Very good. Very good. All right. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's the water and you set the hook. Got one too. It's three pounder. Yeah. Dude, it hit the water and you took off with it. Oh, that's it. Hey! Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That last one I caught was on the front side. I mean, he might have followed it out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got the groove Got the Dude, I did not expect to start off at Lake St. Clair. Catch a largemouth every cast. It's usually catch smallmouth every cast. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. But you let me tell you, explain what this is, guys, so you don't understand how we're catching them here. First of all, we're throwing a little worm, but the reason they're stacked right there, this this river has a lot of current, tons of current, nonstop current. And this a little little half moon, little bay, a little point. So the fish that live here in this river can tuck in behind that and get out of the current and feed when things drift by. And that's why these fish are sitting right there like that. It's a current break. All right, so uh, midday report. We got we got nothing really to show as of right now. We've dealt with just some weird weather. We've just been stuck in the wrong end of the lake, and these big rain clouds have been coming over and raining on us like crazy. We haven't found uh, any smallmouth yet, but we will. I want to get up shot and look for some beds, but obviously you can't do that today. So we're gonna have to just get out here with drop shots and tubes and just kind of drift around out here on these flats and see if we can't find a little group of fish on one of these breaks. But so far, uh, all we got is a couple little largemouth spots, so we'll figure it out. Gotta put the camera back up for a little bit. Now there's a lot of those rock bass here. And they're, you know, they're not real big, but they're like bluegill size. The other day, whenever they were uh, spawning, if you got up on top of one of them like this, you couldn't catch them. I don't know, man. They're not like Champlain fish. It's weird. Like you could back off and catch them. Look at that. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ah, look at there. That's only a two pounder, so he doesn't count. I want to see. Yeah, he's been caught before. Really? Yeah, you can see the marks in his mouth he's just a little one that's a big one that's a better one that's a good one three something There's another one right here. He was right there on that dark spot. There's definitely one on this bed because yeah, I felt him hit it and then I felt him hit my line. I found me a dark spot. I don't want to catch, I mean, that's a five or six pounder, dude. Yeah, yeah, 100%, giant. I think right now you could get about four, well, without the big one, maybe 14. I see a dark spot from here, over there. He's a big one, dude. A little black one. there 
a while, he said? Yeah, he's skinny. Skinny one. Three and a half, baby. So if that one was three and a half, the other one was three. Because that one was a lot bigger than that other one. The one I caught, you know, that I didn't weigh. Yeah, there's like four dark spots right here, dude. There's probably like four fish. That's another good one. Yeah, he's three. What you think? Oh yeah. That's why I'm three thirty-two. So he's uh, three four. Good job. Good job, dude. That's a big one. Hey. What you doing in here, boy? Cool. That was cool. A little spinnerbait action. That's always fun. Yeah, that donkey, dude. That's a, oh my gosh, it's a big one. Ho oh, ho! Oh! I'm glad we stopped out here. Look at that tanker. Not five, but he's a good four. So. We hadn't really found a whole lot today, guys. But, uh, you know, we found those sight fish. I can't win it on sight fish, 100%. But I can get 15, 16 pounds one day for sure. Then if I can get out of here on some of this lake stuff, find a group of these better fish like this, you know, add to it. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about getting 20, 19 a day might win. So, beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Fish food. That's fish food. You know what that means? You know what that means, B? No, you don't talk to me. It's not yet. That means that there's a mayfly hatch going on somewhere around here. Hey, Billy! Hey, what you doing? I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. You know what? What? It's downstairs. What? Fish flies. Huh? Fish flies. Downstairs? Yeah. Inside? Well, look, there's some up here. Look, right there. See them? Fish flies. That means we need to find some fish slurping fish flies today. Bye bye now. Alright, dude. We gotta get serious. <sighs> serious? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm for real. I'm for serious. Real, for real. You know, what do we have to find today? We have to find some fish that are not spawning. We gotta find fish out in the lake and some of that grass. We have to find now I found that one, that one that I closed it out with yesterday was a nice fish. And there, there should be more fish like that in places like that. And that's what we have to find. We can find stuff like that. You can get 18, 19, 20 pounds a day. And that's important. There's one. Well, if there's white bass up here, there ought to be uh, some smallmouth up here feeding on whatever's floating through here. Oh, look, look, look. Look, there they are, dude. There were two of them. There were two of them there, dude. Oh my gosh, look at that giant one. Look at him, look at him. Five pounders, dude. Look at, look. Dude, there's five and six pounders right there. There's five and six pounders right there. This is exactly where I jacked them that one time. There's five or six, five or six pounders right there, dude. Giants. Five or six of them. Look, watch, watch, dude. Watch how big this freaking fish is, dude. There's like five or six of these giant ones like this. Look at him, look, at, look in the water, look in the water, dude. There's five or six of them with him. Look down there. Look oh down there, gosh. see all those black lines? Yeah, why am I holding this camera? Dude, I don't want to catch any more of them. He's spit something up, what is that? Yeah, they're all spitting up bait fish. Oh, look. Bait. Oh my gosh. There's like a bunch of them in there like that. A bunch. 
lights are turning off a little. Oh, it's a big one, dude. Look at this one. Look at this one. Get the camera. It's a giant, dude. What's up, midday update? Well, here's what we've got. We, have, uh, we haven't found anything offshore yet. We really hadn't even fished offshore. We have some sight fish and we have some river fish. If the tournament started tomorrow, which it doesn't, still have one more day, I would probably run up the river and hope that I could catch two or three of those bigger fish on a jerk bait or swim bait, and then go out and pick off a couple of the bigger spawners that I have, and then spend the rest of the day drifting around out here trying to find another group of fish. Hopefully I can find something tomorrow, but right now that's the plan. I like to kind of break it down like that. Each day of practice, even throughout the day, I kind of keep telling myself, what if the tournament started tomorrow? It gives me kind of a, allows me to run through my game plan. And a lot of times, you know, I'll think something's a good idea. And as I keep telling myself and keep running through it, I'll think, you know, maybe I need to make an adjustment to it. A lot of times the adjustments are correct after you've thought about it several times. I don't make a snap decision day of the tournament of where I'm going to go, I kind of keep laying it out as I find them. So that's, uh, that's what we got so far. We need to find some more. That's a big one. It feels big. I'm trying to get back over to the bed so I can mark it. Yeah, that's a good one. Isn't he? Uh, he might be just three. He hadn't been caught, which is good. These are like fresh ones. 340. It's going to be Two, yeah, two nine, two sixty eight. So he's two and three quarters. All right, I'm officially sick, which really sucks. I feel all right, but dude, it's like my nose is running like crazy, and I can't even hardly see. I don't know if it's allergies or not. But the day is over. I'm going to bed, get a hot shower. I'll see you in the morning. You ready, Billy? yesterday i got some little orange earplugs they'll fit really? better yeah yeah but they, they don't absorb we need absorption right i'm not trying to be funny or weird i'm trying to solve a problem because today's the last day of practice and i am sick like straight up sick but that's all right i'm not gonna let it get me down i'm serious right now this is not some michigan fishing vacation right this is the flw tour and angler of the years on the line and i'm dead serious right now even though i don't look Serious. Let's go, Billy. I don't care if I'm sick or not. I gotta go win the tournament. All right, day three. Day three, Matt. We're following you, man. Say, huh? We're following you, man. You're following me. I was gonna follow you. And we're gonna teamwork it together. Yeah, we'll get. So that there. way, I don't have to fish your two spots you got already. That's the. Uh, I like that plan. <laughs> find. We can find a couple good drifts. We've been working hard for two days. We gotta go work hard the third day three for Scott. I'm sick, man. You gotta take care of me. <laughs> this sucks. Dude, wait till you get in the tournament. This is gonna be doing this. Hope you don't draw somebody to Erie, because in Erie, these waves are close together here. But Erie's deep. So they're like three times the height, but they're wider. So like the, you don't throw you around as much, but you go up like eight feet, down eight feet. There's Billy. Billy's fishing right there today. Billy don't feel so good. Billy don't feel so good.
Man, there's some nice grass right here. There's no grass, no grass, no grass. A little grass right there. I threw over there and got him. But there's no grass. I can see it on my panoptics. No! Oh! Billy, where you at, Billy? Okay. Let's see what he weighs. I bet he's 3'5". 357. 38 now. 3372. It's hard to weigh him out here. Just throw up, you'll feel better. Oh, Billy, you got one! Billy, you got one! Get him, Billy! Get him, Billy! You got one, Billy! You got him, Billy? Yeah, I got Is that making you feel better? I think so. Yeah. You gonna get him? so bad for him. Uh oh. Got one. Oh. Yeah, he's little. Two and a half. That's a bite. That's a good bite. That's a good one. Oh, he pulled off. What? It was just one thing? He's back. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. What? Huh. Look at that. Look at that. Bye bye now. Well, I get excited. I thought we had a big old giant one. Uh oh. Feels like a big one, dude. Based on the head shake, it feels like a real big one. Just like the other one, almost four. It's a four pound fish, but, but he spawned out. Four pound body. Nice. Probably the one I just lost. I mean, got off of the boat. If he's little, dude, it is. That's hilarious. All I got today is two, three and a three, two, three and three quarters, and a couple, a couple small ones. Sounds like we need to go to that other spot. What if I went Angler of the Year just sitting on a cooler? Angler would love that. That'd be awesome. Uh-oh. There's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Right in that grass, dude. Oh, my gosh. So what we did is we, we literally ran on plane until we saw the grass. Literally ran on plane until we saw a patch of grass out here on this. It's pretty much slick out here. And there's little sections that have grass. This is big. I don't know what it is. Drum. Five pound drum. Well, that's just peachy. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Got the gut on that thing. Oh, he's pooping. Ooh. He's pooping, Ooh. dude. He's pooping. That's a big turn. He's pooping. Look at you. That's Poop nasty. Oh my. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> All right, update is I still feel like crap, but I'm getting a little better, a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna watch this video and you think, all he's done is just sit there and just cast it out and drag around. But literally, that's what you do. When the wind's blowing like this, it's not blowing hard now, but you just use that wind to your advantage and just throw it out and drag it. They just like that steady drag. And, uh, 
you know, we found some good spots out here today. I, I think I think I'm gonna have to utilize some of those sight fish though at this point. But you know, we still got a couple more hours, so it's basically midday report. Hopefully, we'll find uh, a couple more little stretches that have some bigger smallmouth on it. But that's pretty much it for now. Found a drum hole. I feel better. You do? Yeah. You feel better? It's from the seasick. Yeah. All right. Off to the meeting. Navigation. All He's aboard. a heck of a truck driver. That's what I've been saying for years. People, people don't realize how good of a truck driver B is. Yeah, that's that's and there's another one coming. There's a whole bunch of rain coming. I'm so glad we're not fishing out there today in this stuff. This should not be fun. What are we doing, Billy? We gotta go get some tickets, man. Are you here? I'm texting Dave. We gotta find Dave. We'll find Dave after we buy the tickets. Okay then, come on. Alright, we'll see y'all. Right. I don't wanna do this at the table. He'll be like, what are you doing, man? Okay, I'm done. Okay. Where are we at? I think it's over. I don't know exactly. I see Dave. He's in a he's in a blue team shirt. Put the poles out. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Good to see you, buddy. You look good. Thank you. Thank you. A little older. Not really. Correct, man. You're good. You're good. What's up, dude, Brandon? How you been, Dave? Good. Good. So you call a lot of fish during practice? No. <laughs> <laughs> multi species. Billy, where's your ticket? No tickets, man. Brandon was late. You know, Mark's got a huge lead. And, you know, Mark deserves to win any leader, to be honest with you. He's fishing good the last couple of years. But I'm not going to give it to him. I'm going to fish as hard as I can. We'll see what happens. Fish hard, pray hard. If it's God's will for me to win another one, then I'm going to win one. If not, I'm going to finish exactly where I'm going to finish. All right, let's go. I'm going to go to the focus meeting because I need to get focused. And then uh, we'll get out of here. Please. Now it's time to rig tackle. We haven't had a chance to do that today. We had to get some things done on the boat, and it rained. But I bought some off because we're going to need it here shortly. There's... The mosquitoes are worse here than in Florida, dude. So, all right, so here's the deal, guys. Game plan. My game plan right now is to um, run up the river, hopefully catch a couple big, big old smallmouth. Hopefully five, actually. Then, um, depending on how that goes, may go to the sight fish, may not. I'm not sure yet. That it's all going to depend on how the river expedition goes. Then heading out in the middle of the lake, and we're going to get down to it. Main thing tomorrow is going to be jerk baits, swim baits, and drop shot stuff. So I got a lot of tackle to rig up. It's going to be a good event. I need to finish well because Mark Rose is uh, leading the points right now with by 64, 65 points. So I've got to beat him by 65 places. It's not going to be easy. Mark Rose is a good fisherman. He's smart. He's going to know how to be consistent. But at the end of the day, I got to go out there and get it done. So, Billy, you ready? I'm ready, man. You ready for greatness? I do want to say one thing. I do want to say one thing. Here, come here, come here, guys, come here, Billy. It was, it's been fun fishing with this year. It has dude. been. It has Good dude. year. Because Thank you. Th that practice, now it's over, means that we're not, um, no more practice. We're done. Hmm. Billy's done hanging out with us on the practice. But I think I'm going to bring him back for some special things. What do you think, guys? Drop a comment, let me know. You want Billy back? I think you do. I do too. Vote for me. Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, tournament video is dropping right after this, guys. Appreciate all the support. Do me a favor. Subscribe and also turn your notifications on. Turn your notifications on so you get the little bell. Thanks for sharing. Billy, close us out, dude. Do the honors. Do the honors. Do the honors. Boom! <laughs>